Welcome back to the frog bath y'all. It is getting cold and today we're going to talk about overwintering natural garden ponds like mine with bog filters and intake bays. So uh, let's get into it. First thing I got to be doing is I got to be going inside this intake bay and raking all the leaves out. So let's do that. Intake bay cleaned out. Now the next thing we got to do is uh, get all the junk out of here. So I like to do that with a leaf blower, but uh, you can also do it with a rake. Okay, so obviously some of that stuff's gonna end up in the pond. That's no problem. You see it's already making its way all in the intake bay. Um, and that's it. What am I gonna do with the pump? Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna leave it running all winter long and that's totally cool. If you wanna make a pond like this and that's what you want your wintering chores to be, the most important thing you gotta do is you gotta make your pond deep enough so it does not freeze all the way to the bottom. Around where I'm at, that means three feet. Some people say you can get away with two and a half. I don't know, I didn't do that. I went with three feet. That's what's worked for me. You could try it where you are. Maybe it don't freeze as hard, but around here it gets pretty cold. So uh, we want to make sure that we got enough uh, depth for our friends that are down there to survive the whole winter. And the other big thing is the pump. You want to size your pump to be at least double the size of the capacity of your pond, including what is in the bog and the intake bay. And the reason is because a pump that moves that much water is going to create enough flow and kind of current in here to prevent it from freezing solid at this juncture here where it goes into the intake bay and that means that even though the top will freeze this thing will be completely covered in snow you can see some of my videos from last winter that pump is still going to be running that waterfall is still going to be going because it's moving pretty fast and this is still going to be sucking water in and sending it up through the bog filter so you heard that right if you set up your pond like this correctly um, depending on your zone and like i said it gets pretty cold uh, down into the below zero fahrenheit around here um, you too can have your winter chores be taking a leaf blower to your pond for about five minutes and scooping out a few leaves and that's it 